Hey Aquarius, welcome. You'll be doing your 10 minute tarot reading. 10 minute tarot tune up. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. I hope you guys all had a wonderful new year, a wonderful holiday. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. Emotional loss. Okay. You could be dealing with an a boss. There's some sort of spiritual awakening you're having here. You could, because I also have the wisdom card here. And um, so you could just be stepping into like the energy of being more spiritual. Um, it could also be concerning like your family or your home life or wanting a family or creating a family because we also have passion ignited here. Um, so you could be moving in that direction of happy home, happy wife, happy life, happy, you know, all that stuff. Um, but there's some sort of emotional loss here. This is the, the, the past energy. So I'm not really sure. Because then you have the emperor, the authority card here. Let me feel into this. I'm a little, hmm, about this one. What's going on, Aquarius? I'm getting there's some sort of like, there's some sort of hurt or pain or something that's, you, that that's like being reignited, okay? And this could have to do with childhood. See how he's holding onto his heart here? But real, what really is getting my attention for this reading is the red. So this, I'm getting this could have to do with unresolved issues that have to do with like unresolved issues with resentment or anger or frustration towards a father figure. This could be a boss. This could be your father. This could be somebody you consider a father. This could be, you know... For a lot of you, I'm getting this has to do with work or career or something. There's some sort of like frustration or like anger or resentment. But for example, if it is for your boss, okay, um, I'm getting that this, this, this issue for you is deeper than that. Like it's like a childhood wound. So for example, you had issues with your father. So... That has carried on into your career. So if you have someone, even if it's a female who's your boss, but she's really in her masculine energy, you have issues with that because this is unresolved from your childhood. You could have your father reaching out to you recently to talk to you about your childhood, your life, to like speak his side of the story about your childhood growing up or your family life growing up. Because I'm getting from this card, there's distance between you and your father um, this could be male or female, and this could even be if you're a female Aquarius, and, um, I just got confused. If you're a female Aquarius, and this could even be, like, if you don't speak or communicate with your father, your mother would have to have played the father role, so she could have been in flopping back and, um, forth between her masculine and feminine energy, so she could be, it could be her is what I'm saying. So when there's a single parent in a household, you know, you know, it's a lot. You That's why I always hear like single parents be like, oh my God, it was a lot. So this could be your mother reaching out to you if you were in um, a single family household to talk about your childhood or something concerning your childhood. So it's like they want to drop some wisdom on you. This card said, wi says wisdom, but I'm getting the message that this is like, like a conversation or or some sort of like memory or there's some sort of triggering of a memory or something where you like are putting like the pieces together where it's all making sense. Maybe you're in the energy of feeling like, oh my gosh, this you're finally at the place of like knowing this all happened for a reason. Um, but it, I'm getting that it's good. It's good. So for me, this feels like I'm like perplexed, you know, because this emotional loss card is really like throwing me off. I don't know if like some of you may lose a parent or have lost a parent, a father, or 
um, have learned news about a father who's ill or not well. So you're trying to fix or mend things or there could be a traveling um, to go visit or see because underneath this third eye chakra, I have choose wisely. Um, and I'm, I'm getting like, this has to do with like about what to do about the situation. But it's also speaking to me to about like um, going in a direction towards, you know, the highest self. Like what would you do for the best of everyone involved? Like you're, you're, you're go you're you're making the decision based off of you know so, so for example if this is someone is passing away or someone is ill or you got news that they're going to be passing away like you normally maybe wouldn't go to see this person you don't really but but you're knowing that it's kind of important to have like closure or something because underneath that is memories of love but the candles are purple so to me this is something uh, like spiritual and quick moving um to me this this definitely has something to do with childhood and masculine energy and how that has affected you in your life and coming to terms with that and reconciling that but it is so good because it is bringing you to this place of like passion ignited you're coming full circle it's really going to open up your heart and do a lot of healing for you there Aquarius there's some sort of healing about some sort of childhood issue now I'm getting that if this isn't your father this could be like you're a baby daddy and this has to, with you coming to terms with the relationship you have with your baby mom or making that right or coming full circle where there's a conversation had or someone's apologizing or someone's trying to make things right or someone is um seeing their what how they were wrong in the dynamic or taking ownership or accountability for their part in things um this to me very much is dealing with like uh, childhood stuff, children, home. So however that applies to your life, Aquarius, um, either when you were a child or concerning your children, or you could be in a home now where there was a lot of turmoil, turmoil or fighting, or you and your wife could have been separated and you reconciled and come back together. And this was in the past of like, there was a lot of hurt and resentment and anger, but you guys are in your full power now. You've come full circle because there's a lot of this energy here. The circles here and the yellow is really popping out to me. So you could just, the masculine energy could just be standing in his power now in the household coming from this place of emotional loss. Maybe you were separating or divorcing and now you're just, you did the work and you're in your power, like in your power, like you're realizing you did your power. You're having wisdom about your family life, your household home, you're providing, you're coming in with this new enlightened energy. You're becoming more spiritually aware. He's wearing this purple cloak here. Um, and the red is popping out to me as like now he's carrying it in his hands. He has control over it versus it being really close to his chest here. Like it's been resolved. It's worked. He's put it in his bank of knowledge. And now he's like got all this new passion and power and everything is the spiritual um, insight. He, he feels like spirit has his back. He's really empowered in life now. So it could have just been coming to terms with maybe like, how you were being like a father figure in your life, or if it wasn't the best situation, you're you're kind of um, coming coming to terms with it in a way where you're you're going to do better or you're going to fix it. And this could be across the board. This could be with your father. This could be you as a father with your children. This could be with this is to me dealing with father and childhood issues. Even mother, like I said if your mother had to be in the masculine energy. To me, this is a lot of moving past old habits or wounds that deal with family life, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, it's building, it's like you you swiped it clean and you started building over this new foundation. And it's like, it's so good. Like everything is moving so quickly, okay? It's like you you're, you're seeing now how doing the spiritual work Doing the work to heal your heart, doing the work to heal your family has really been benefiting you and it is, you're moving on from that. See, this is underneath that. You're moving on from all of 
the darkness. You're moving on from all the pain, the resentment, the anger, and you're really seeing the benefits of that. And this is like trickle down. It's like dripping down into everything. You're moving away from emotional withdrawal. Maybe you're communicating more, speaking more about your childhood. Oh, look at this. I can't. You really can't make this stuff up. Okay? Suffering in silence. You're no longer doing this. You're in your power. You're speaking up. You're standing your ground. You're speaking about what's best for you. You're building a better foundation for your family, for your life. There's hope. Firm foundation. Love begins. To me, this is there was some spiritual strength. There was some sort of throat chakra. Like, you literally can't make this stuff up, people. You, Aquarius, you got... If somebody's really jealous of all this for you, Aquarius. There's somebody, and I'm getting this energy, is not immediate. It's like on the outskirts. Just hovering around, watching, shooting bullets out of their eyes at how good things are going for you and your family I'm getting, okay? Because things are just so good, Aquarius. I hope this makes sense to you guys. And it feels really good. I feel like I, I'm feeling the energy of really coming from this place of coming to terms with all these things from your past and dealing with them and facing them head on and how this, you're really reaping the rewards of, of the work that you've done. And that feels amazing, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do all the things. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, Aquarius. Bye.